Well, the local stock market continues to underperform the region, making it one of the quarter's worst performance to, performers to date. So investors are want to ask, of course, where's the upside if there is one? So here to talk us through it is Ed Francisco. He's the president of BDO Capital. And always good to have you on the show. Look, the last time we spoke, and this was just a little over a month ago, the PSE was still at about sitting comfortably above 7,300 level. Right. The index is now down to just about 6,900. It's pretty much wiped out its gains for the year. What do you think is going on here? Um, yeah, I, I, I guess we're all having these uh, these concerns. But uh, on the other hand, the way that the BDO team looks at it as a time to buy, but selectively. No? So you, you don't buy on the index, but because they're, the valuations are now getting more reasonable. They're selective stocks that we really support and we want people to buy. That's right. Taking a look at uh, the PSE versus the rest of Asia, take a look at that. Down 11% quarter to date. Uh, I mean, everyone's in the red here, but of course, double-digit losses for us. Uh, you talked about selective buying. Where are you looking? Uh, for example, we still believe that the economy is continuing to grow. So the bellwether for the economy will be the conglomerates, SM, AC, even Metro Pacific. We think that uh, the, there might be some, co there potentially could be some consolidation to the big players, including real estate like, uh, you know, like Ali, like SM Prime, Robinsons. These are the ones who, uh, you know, strong balance sheets. And then we also believe, for example, that uh, the Petrons, the Semexes, etc., uh, Cebu Pak are, you know, have, uh, have the CapEx already done, so they'll have strong cash flow. So it's, it's good for, the, for this economy. One thing that's been raised about these stocks that you just enumerated, particularly the conglomerates, is the mm. valuation. We're right, still talking right. pretty high valuation. In fact, if you take a look at the valuation forecast for the PSE, this is the index. Uh, we're still at about 18 times, I yes. believe. Yes. Uh, there you go, November of 2016 he's still at about 18 times it's not expected to go down until late next year to about 16 times forward earnings again making the stocks look pricey compared to the rest of the region how are you reading this um yes it still is looks a little pricey but then because of this uh, the decline it the premium has is lower than the rest of the region and because we still are growing faster as, as shown by the recent seven percent growth uh, it makes people more interested. So it's actually a, a good time to buy also in that perspective. Funny enough, that's actually exactly what PSE President Hans Hikat, <laughs> who was on the show recently, okay. told us. He said, uh, look, investors are happy to pay for robust corporate earnings growth, which we're still seeing at this stage. Peso, though, if you take a look at the currency, also not having a great start to the quarter. Consensus forecast on the Bloomberg terminal actually peg it to breach 51 to the greenback by the end of the year. Uh, and the gauge at the moment is keeps moving further away from that by quarter two of 2017. We're looking at possibly about 54 to the dollar. Uh, how is this changing your strategy? Yeah, no, I, 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 our view is that we, 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 we think, yeah, that the peso might hit 50. There's a possibility, but it will strengthen and then later on, uh, because of Christmas, of course, right? The, the, money, the dollars come in. And then later, first quarter, you're right, it might weaken a little bit. So uh, it's really a lot of it is global flows because we all agree that in th our economy is doing so well. But I guess it's the, 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 externalities. the, the externalities are really affecting us. Right? And chief among these externalities would be the Fed. Uh, the Fed, yes, the Fed course, decision uh, coming correct. up in uh, mid-December, of course, everyone's already pricing in a rate yes, hike at this I, stage. Yes. I think that's priced in already even for our Philippine stocks. And so we shouldn't expect any shocks by then? I hope so. So. The good news of the day is, of course, that the SEC has approved that minimum public floats for REITs, that's real estate investment trust, be taken down to 33%. Originally, it was sitting at about 67%. However, I pulled up this chart because I wanted to show you that uh, compared to the rest of the region, it's still pretty high. Uh, what do you make of this? Is this enough of a measure to entice investment in this space? Yeah. Because I'm involved in, in this through the, uh, the Capital Market Development Council, uh, it, it's, it's a step. I think that was always within the purview of the SEC. But I think one of the other cons the big concerns also of the potential issuers is really the, the, the VAT. Because if they don't remove that, that's suddenly a potential 8% or a big hit uh, just for them to transfer ownership. So unless that is changed, I'm not sure it will really provide the incentive or the push to make the, the real estate companies list their needs. So this is one step, but we still need the VAT to be I taken down. Yes. 
All right. And lastly, Ed, what's in the pipeline for you guys? I know you're busy working on the Shakey's IPO. December 15th, there's barely five working weeks left to the year. What's keeping you guys busy? What are you trying to push out? Uh, no, we're, 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 we're very happy. We're very busy. Uh, because aside from Shakey's, which we're doing, which is uh, 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 IPO, we're doing a prefer perpetual share, which is Arthalan, and we're just getting the approvals from the SEC. That's a $2 billion issue, which is well subscribed. Uh, and then we also have the bond for the end of the year, which is the SMIC uh, part of the shelf subscription. So things are going well in the capital market. Still seeing a lot of uh, investor appetite? A lot of appetite, yeah, because there's still so much liquidity. So they're still looking for uh, places to put their money. Domestic or foreign? I'm because more on the domestic side, at least. So the domestic side is very, very strong. The foreign, of course, are very selective on what they'll invest in. And they are being very picky at the moment. Yes. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Ed Francisco, President of BDO Capital, always appreciate your time. Thank you.